you ate 10 minutes ago. It's time to film, okay? Actors. Got your lines ready? Okay, let's go. The convent needs money. It seems that very few could afford to be blessed anymore. Still, did that discourage Sister Batril? I'm sorry to say, it did. No soup. But that soap, sister, and no clothes for the kids either. For a lot of places like Santanco, that's a constant thing. And Sister Bertrill is tired of it. She says, we need to go into business and become self-sustaining. But doing what? I've got it. What is it? It's been staring us in the face all along. What? what? The nectar of Santanco. The nectar of Santanco? Sea grape juice. I've never seen it in the market. I've never seen it advertised. I've never even heard from it. You're going to hear from it now. Maybe you have something there. Yeah. I wouldn't do that if I were you, Sister Jacqueline. Hmm? You're eating into profits. And guess who's going to get exclusive distribution rights? Carlos, wait till you hear. Sister Bertrand, can't you see I'm busy? <laughs> when will you learn to knock? Well, if I'd have knocked, you'd have said, who is it? And I would have said, Sister Bertrand, and you would have said, come in. And since you're so busy, you should be pleased I'm saving you time. <laughs> How can you argue with that kind of logic? That's Carlos's friend, Luis Fierro, who's a big wheel on the other side of the island. Distribution rights? For what? I can't tell you. It's still in the planning stages, and we wouldn't want word to leak out. Then you shouldn't have come to him yet. He's not interested in whatever you're making. Just a minute, sister. If Carlos is not interested, perhaps I am. Always be careful what you are saying. But surely, if you can't trust a nun, <laughs> whom can you trust? Carlos says, if you're willing to take the chance, then so am I. We'll go 50-50, but it has to be a genuinely marketable product. They have the idea, they have the plan, and they have the pipeline. Next step, the grapes. I do not understand, sister. You wish to buy my cigarettes? Your whole crop. But... Nobody ever wanted to buy the whole crop before. Oh, it makes me so happy to hear that. You'll deliver, of course. Of course, as soon as they are paid for. Uh, well, you'll get your money on the 10th of the month. Okay, let's get going. How do you make this stuff? I can't believe we're actually in business. We're in business till the 10th of the month. Oh, we'll have the money. For the sea grapes, the sugar, the bottle, and the equipment rental. And we'll have enough money left over for our work with the kids. The kids want to help, too. Come on in, the juice is fine. <laughs> Don't worry, cooking will kill the bacteria from their feet, and the dirt gives the juice a sort of earthy flavor as well as a little bit of crunch. Weeks of labor and love went into this, and at long last, here it is. The first batch of nectar of Santanco. Taste that. What do you think? I think it's sea grape juice. He's unhappy. He says nobody is going to buy this stuff, so the deal's off. We were just not meant to be businesswomen. This was our chance to be independent, to do something for ourselves instead of always relying on charity. Sister Bertrand, the first epistle of St. Paul to the Corinthians. And now abideth faith, hope, and charity, these three. And the greatest of these is charity. Except that is a horrible mistranslation based on archaic usage that changed a long time ago. The word means love. Faith, hope, and love. It doesn't mean trickling a few cents toward a good cause now and then. It means putting yourself out for someone else, whatever the situation and whoever the someone else is. It's the kind of self-sacrificial love that Jesus exemplified. It has nothing to do with walking around hat in hand begging for money. Jesus said it's not easy for a rich man with a needle to fly through the eye of a camel, but let's be honest, poverty for its own sake is no great virtue either. I try to live by Proverbs chapter 30, verses 8 and 9. Give me neither poverty nor riches, but give me only my daily bread. Otherwise, I may have too much and disown you and say, Who is the Lord? 
or I may become poor and steal and so dishonor the name of my God. Life is about balance, folks. If you consider it, every aspect of life is about balance. I'll leave that for you to ponder. Speaking of balance, some chemicals in those bottles are carrying out a little balancing of their own. I believe the scientific term is fermenting. Who knows how yeast got in there, but there it goes, and the sisters don't have a clue. Good morning, sister. Reverend Mother. Good morning. We have come for our money. They also don't have a penny to pay those guys. We have sea grape guy, sugar guy, bottle guy, equipment rental guy, and someone she doesn't recognize, bureaucrat guy. I am from the license bureau, sister. I feel it's my duty to tell you, you have to have a license to run a business. We set out to make the nectar of Santanko, only everybody calls it sea grape juice. All these people want their money, but we haven't got it to give it to them because we haven't sold a single bottle, and you call that running a business. As Louise said, how can you argue with that kind of logic? There's not much to be done but keep producing nectar of Santanko, a.k.a. sea grape juice, and try to find some buyers. <laughs> That was Senor Fierro. What did he want? Sampling the nectar. What did he say? Sea grape juice. We'll offer him a bigger percentage. Senor Fierro! Senor Fierro! Sister Bertrill pacified the creditors for a while by giving them a percentage, so pretty much everybody owns a piece of this company now. Senor! Senor Fierro! Some powerful sea grape juice. Senor Fierro, about our sea grape juice. Yes, how about that sea grape juice? We should know how to improve it. We try harder. If you succeed, why don't you send me four cases to start with? Whatever they put in it, he wants more. Now, how do we get those four cases to him? Hi, Carlos. Well, you're taking a run to Arab Siva today. Yeah, a hey, pleasure trip. Oh, well, do you mind mixing a little of our business with your pleasure? What business? A product to which Senor Fierro now has exclusive distribution rights. She says, could you drop the cases off to him while you're out? Otherwise, these poor little children will have to carry those big, heavy boxes. I doubt the manipulation was necessary because he's learned it's easier just to say yes to whatever she wants and get it over with. What might be in these cases? See, gray juice? See? It says Nectar of Santanko. That's another name for sea grape juice. Ever hear the expression product name? I'll have to examine it. Help yourself. <sighs> you are under arrest. <laughs> for carrying sea grape juice? for a smuggling sea grape wine. First, that's not how a genuine customs agent would test it because he has no idea what might be in there. Second, where is he smuggling it from and where is he smuggling it to? It's strange that a nun should come to visit him. Well, maybe she can get a confession. We could not. <laughs> that wine, was it not labeled Nectar of Santanko? Where the sister comes from. And you did not see the connection? Sergeant, we are looking for a smuggling ring. I assure you, you do not suspect me. I suspect everybody. I even suspect myself. Sergeant, arrest me for questioning. But sister, if you only had told me you are going to make cigarette juice, I would have warned you what to expect. You mean you've made it too? Many times. And it always turned into wine? Uh, at first it did. At first. Come, sister. I'll show you. His bottles look exactly like theirs, but the stuff in it is undrinkable. What is the meaning oh. of this? Oh, Reverend Mother, please forgive us as we beg your pardon most humbly, but, uh, uh... What he is trying to say, Reverend Mother, is... This is a raid. I don't know, Inspector. I think you'd better have the sergeant cover him with his gun. They look awfully sneaky to me. What's going 
going on here? Uh, nothing much. Instead of mass today, we're having a raid. <laughs> oh, Sister Bertrille, we're so glad you've come. Please explain about the wine. Aha, so Sister Bertrille is the brains of this outfit, huh? Well, I... Tell me, Sister, you admit making this? Yes. Ah, <laughs> good, then you admit making the wine. No. He says, but it is wine, is it not? She says, I don't know, try it and see for yourself. something wrong with the wine? <laughs> it is not wine. It is vinegar. That's why nobody ever made sea grape juice. Every time the farmer tried it, the stuff turned to vinegar. Its chemistry means you can't get juice or wine out of those grapes. You can either eat them or you can make vinegar. Carlos wasn't smuggling anything because who'd be crazy enough to smuggle this stuff? The inspector slinks out with his tail between his legs, and Louis still wants to buy the product. He'll take the whole mess off their hands for a fair price, enough to pay the creditors and then some. With a grand profit of $19.75. I told you we could be self-sustaining. Okay, perhaps the then wasn't as some as I might have implied. Sister, there is the matter of the license. But we already took out a license. But that was a license for making sea grape juice. Now, you must have a license for making vinegar. They aren't making it anymore. Luis bought the whole lot and they shut down production. But this is bureaucrat guy. He'll make sure he counts all the beans. How much? $20. All we have is $19.75. Who's got a quarter on them? I knew it was going to end up costing me something. Just be glad you got off so easy this time. She could have made you buy the vinegar. We all know she can do it. If you enjoyed this, please click the like button to let me and YouTube know you want to see more. If you're not subscribed yet, punch me in the mask here and get signed up so you don't miss a thing because something is always happening here at Irving Zoo. As always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you later. Based on archaic usage that changed a long... Usage that, I can say that. He'll take the whole mess off their hands for a fair price, for a fair price. Good grief. Jesus said it's not easy for a rich man to... Oh, come on. Don't blow the joke.